Hello, my name is Ralph Friedrichs. I'm an addiction recovery coach and the host of the Take Your Life Back Today show. As an addiction recovery coach, I want to share something with you and let me be crystal clear to leave an everlasting impact upon you. Imagine, just imagine being buried alive, but you know you're not dead. You try to push the lid of the coffin up, but the enormous weight of the dirt prevents that lift, uh, that uh, lid from lifting. You just say, oh, today's the day I'm going to die. But then you say, wait a minute, maybe if I bang on the lid, I can unsettle the dirt that's upon the lid and it will show some kind of movement on top. So maybe, just maybe somebody might notice and start digging their way down towards me. This, my friend, is what it's like to be habitually uh, uh, using drugs and alcohol. When you're at your lowest point of alcohol and drug addiction, you know you need help, you know you can't find help on your own, but you don't know where to turn. In reality, there are probably people standing by your grave, but you don't know that. You just think today is the day for death. Usually, though, people don't think about death when they're habitually abusing drugs and alcohol. In order to feed an addiction, you have to have a good, uh, you have to be good at repressing the fear of death. I often ask you, my audience, did it ever cross your mind when you were abusing drugs and alcohol that maybe, just maybe, today is the day where an overdose will take place and you will take what's preciously given you by God, your life, away not just from you, but from your loved ones and your family. With this, let me leave one last thought. Don't be the person on these index cards that didn't reach out for help in time, that waited and waited, and now it might be too late for that person. Instead, be the person that reaches out by calling me at 844-405-HELP and let me, Ralph Friedrichs, help you take your life back. My friends, before your life is gone. There are other people like Larry Geis from the Geis Academy at 516-458-2751. That's uh, 516-458-2741. That's 516-458-2741. Larry Geis from the Geis Academy. You can Google him at www.odysseyconsultant.org. Larry Geis is an addiction recovery coach, a life coach. He will help you from your addiction to your recovery. He will help you from depression to higher... Uh, um, uh, or I should say happier times. He should. He will also help you from low self-esteem to higher self-esteem. Larry and I always tell you, our clients, our audience, that it doesn't matter where you came from. It doesn't matter where you've been. We all have a past. But that's exactly what it means, a past. Today is a new day. Today can be your day for you to reach out to Larry. 516-458-2741 and let Larry guys help you take back your life. Let Larry guys show you how to live with sobriety, how to live in recovery. Larry Geis from the Geis Academy, 516-458-2741. Folks, GlobalEyeglasses.com, they are focused on saving you money. They have over 1,200 frames, metal, plastic, full frame, half frame, no frames at all. Their lenses include progressives, otherwise known as a no-line bifocal, line bifocal, which is like a half a moon, Transition that changes indoor and outdoors. Photochromatic, which is a lower budget transition lens, does the same thing. Uh, Polarize, which is for any out, great outdoor activities. Scratch coating, anti-reflecting coating, which is for night driving and also for computers. UV coated, make the lenses thinner for you guys that are out there that have thicker lenses. Also shatterproof lenses for the elders and for the children. All available at GlobalEyeglasses.com. The great thing here, folks, is, is I have over 30 years experience in uh, the optometry business. And when I do commercials for people, I always make sure it's commercials that I know the product very well. And I happen to know optometry. So if you need help picking your glasses, you need help picking the lenses, call me at 631-599-0218 and I will help you pick out the glasses. I will make sure that you get the right pair of glasses for the right reasons. Go to www.globaleyeglasses.com. Let them focus on saving you money. Five common myths about addiction that need to stop right now. How hard have you worked to get where you are in your recovery? Probably really hard if you've worked as hard as me. If you have some considerable clean time that you can hang on and, and hang your hat on, you have worked bloody hard to get to where you are right now, you will continue to put in your work. If you look at your recovery as it is this moment, what words come to mind? More than likely, words like courage, honesty, and the inside are often the first that travel from the brain to your lips. As we all know, 
All the good that we experience in our sobriety often come from those things that aren't so good. For example, we have to be constantly vigilant in our awareness of cravings and what can trigger our cravings uh, day to day. We also need to um, accurately be aware of our attitudes and behaviors that can lead us down the road to relapse. Everything that we do has to be monitored by you and me, us. Addicts are bad people. Now, these are myths. Even though we understand that the addiction is a complex disorder that has a social environment and biological component, components, there are many who still, still feel that addiction is a moral and spiritual failing and that people who are addicts are weak-willed and immoral beings. It is true we have done some uh, apprehensible and unconscionable during our days of drinking and drugging. The changes in the brain chemistry and the reinforcement of certain sets and setting transformed us into beings who didn't think twice about lying, cheating, or manipulating others to get what we wanted. However, it is important to realize that addiction affects everyone and that really good people have done really bad things while under the influence and it happens each and every day. With the proper treatment and care, you have regained your physical, psychological, and spiritual health, and you are working every day to make amends, make things right, and become an even better person than you were before substance abuse took over your life. So it is a myth. Not addicts, not all addicts, not most addicts are bad people. They are good people with bad problems. People think that addiction is a choice. Wrong. How many of you woke up in uh, one morning or any morning, looked at yourself in the mirror and said, you know what, today I want to be an addict? I don't think e any of us. It is a silly question to ask because nobody asked themselves that question. Yet one of the prevailing myths of addiction is that uh, somehow or another people just wake up in the morning and think that they're going to be addicts. With chronic use of substances, brain chem chemistry and function is significantly impacted with those changes and a person's behavior and action and changes. As stated earlier, drug and alcohol addiction is a complex beast that is birthed in the perfect storm of neurobiological environmental social factors. It is true that addicts can exert their willpower to stop taking substances, but merely plugging the jug will not make the addiction go away. Next myth is people can only be addicted to one substance. Totally wrong. Another one of the common myths about addiction is that people become addicted to one substance only. While people may have their own preferred drug of choice, in my case it was alcohol, the fact of the matter is that many people who struggle with addiction are often addicted to multiple substances at the same time. This is known, to, uh, this is known as poly. Uh, substance abuse and it is uncommon for people to be addicted to three or more types of substances. Addicts often abuse multiple substances. Another myth is legal drugs are different. Absolutely not. There are people who are of the thought that legal drugs such as anti-anxiety and prescription painkiller medications are different than illicit drugs when it pertains to substance abuse. Prescribed drugs seem to have less of a stigma attached to them and there are many who think that these drugs are safer and street drugs. If you look at a prescription painkiller epidemic, there is currently engulfing uh, this country itself and all around the world, you know that this line of reasoning is both false and dangerous. Legal medications are often abused as much as the illicit uh, counterparts and they are often more potent and they can be found within your local drugstores and supermarkets. Next myth is treatment will put addicts in their place. It has taken decades for healthcare professionals and others in addiction treatment communities to understand that addiction is a progressive and complex disease of the brain. Despite this shift in thinking, there are people who believe that addiction treatment should put addicts in their place. For those who look at addiction treatment in this light, they believe addicts should be made to feel ashamed of their condition. Whether this opinion is formed by personal experiences or deep-seated stigma, this attitude towards addicts helps perpetuate stigma and can make those who, str who are struggling with addiction feel they aren't worthy of any help whatsoever. In fact, research has shown that 
the shame of one of the leading indicators that a person will relapse is the fact that other people don't support them. The truth is there is no right way to recover and there is no wrong way to recover. There is only recovery. Every addict has their own unique and specific uh, needs in treatment. Many drug treatment centers offer a wide range of evidence-based treatment services in well-equipped facilities that are inviting, safe, and conducive for recovery. The myths about addiction not only affect the addict and their families, it is also affected within the society as a whole. If we are able to understand addiction as a brain disease and allow people to recover in the ways that best suit their needs, we can all make significant strides in addressing the drug and alcohol addiction problems in the world. These were the five common myths about addiction that need to stop right now. Myth number one is that addicts are bad people. Addicts are not bad people. Addicts have a bad situation in their life. All addicts can and will seek treatment when they are ready to do so and all addicts seek treatment in different ways. There is no right way, there is no wrong way, there is only one way and that is recovery. Myth number two is addiction is a choice. Nobody, and I mean nobody wakes up in the morning, looks in the mirror and says, today I'm going to be addicted to something. Addiction is something that happens um, uh, with chronic use of substances brain chemistry and function is significantly impacted with those changes in a person's behaviors and actions and addictions can creep up on a person just like this and it could take forever to get rid of as stated earlier drug and alcohol addiction is a complex beast that is birthed in the perfect storm of neurobiological environmental social factors it's true that addicts can exert their willpower to stop taking substances but it's not merely plugging the jug up with a cork Another myth is people can only be addicted to one substance. Absolutely not. People can be addicted to alcohol, cocaine, crack, marijuana, all at the same time. Usually people are not addicted to more than three or four substances, but you can be addicted to more than one substance. Legal drug, drugs are different is also a myth. No, because you can go to, uh, for an example, I'm an alcoholic. I can go into a drugstore and buy a bottle of NyQuil, which is a legal indirect drug drink that and give me the same effect as drinking maybe a couple shots of vodka. So legal drugs uh, are not different than illegal drugs. Only the difference is, is that one is legal and one is not. They both can be hurtful to the addict. The last one is treatment will put addicts in their place. Uh, it has taken decades for healthcare professionals and others in the addiction treatment communities to understand that addiction is a progressive complex disease of the brain. Despite this shift in thinking, there are people who believe that addiction treatment should put addicts in their place. For those who look at addiction treatment in this light, they believe that addicts should be made to feel ashamed about their condition. And it is because those feelings that are caused by society that addicts are afraid to ask for help because of the consequences of what people feel about them. I, if I want to go and ask you for help, and if I knew that you were going to treat me any differently than a regular human being, I wouldn't ask you for help. Whether this opinion is formed by personal experiences or deep-seated stigma, this attitude towards addicts helps perpetuate stigma and can make those who are struggling with addiction feel they aren't worthy of any help. In fact, research has shown that the shame is not one of the leading indicators that a person will relapse. The truth is, is there is no right way to recover. There is no wrong way to recover. There is only recovery. Many drug treatment centers offer a wide range of evidence-based treatment services in well-equipped facilities that are inviting, safe, and conducive for recovery. The myths about addiction not only affect the addict and their families, it also affects society as a whole. If we are people to understand addiction as a brain disease and allow people to recover in the ways that best suit their needs, we all can make significant strides in addressing drug and alcohol addiction down the road. If you're watching and you have any sort of drug and alcohol addiction, don't be like the person I read about on this index card. Don't be the person that's buried alive now looking for help. Don't be the person that's trying to open up the coffin lid, but the enormous weight upon the lid 
prevents you from doing that. Don't be the person that's going to start banging on your coffin lid, hoping that to unsettle the dirt, people might start digging it down to help you. It might be too late. Be the person instead that reaches out for help today, right now. Reach out to either myself or Larry Geis. You can reach me at 844-405-HELP, Larry Geis at 516-458-2741. Let us both help you take back your life. I hope no matter where you are watching me, you have the best day of your life. I hope and I pray for everyone to have a sober rest of your life. And may God bless each and every one of you.